Well, hello. Welcome to QuickCon. Today is Rotisserie Day, one of my favorite days because it reminds me of the Ferris wheel. So if you think of it as a chicken Ferris wheel, it takes some of the pain out of it for the chicken. They're in the nice, warm sun riding the Ferris wheel. Let me show you how great this thing works. I've got, uh, let's see, four spits on there already. And uh, we'll hit the little button down here that says Rotisserie. Well, I've cut arrows. Yeah, get out. Push the button. We'll let it run around to the other side. When we get there, I'll shut it off and load the other spits on with the imaginary chicken. There we go. Put the other three on. Notice the talent level here. I'm doing it with one hand. to work this. Uh, we can turn it to a little hand there. I have no idea what hand means, but we'll pretend we did. Turn it to the hand in one light bulb. Uh, it's got a hand. Well, I don't know what hand <laughs> means, but uh, one light bulb. Maybe it's a turkey. I don't know. Uh, we'll turn it to the two light bulbs. That's just rotisserie. And that's the two bulbs. Okay, but what we want it to do is we want to cook. We want to cook some chicken. So I'm going to turn it on. Get the program to light up. It's running through its test. We'll turn it on. And we're ready. We're already going. Uh, we've got it set to, let's set it to 300 degrees. Close the door. It's going to warm up a lot easier with the door closed. And there we go. We're well on our way to roasted chicken. Now there's different programming options here. You can program at different times and things like that. Uh, that you can go through the book and figure that out. But uh, you can see it all works. The display is light. The thing runs. The bulbs are lit. Uh, the heating element is obviously working because we're up to 198 degrees and believe me, it's not 198 degrees in here. And we're up to 205, 206. I don't know if you can see the numbers down here or not, but they're climbing, 208, 209. turn it down where I had it set at 200. You can see the backlight clicked off and the heating elements clicked off. Turn it back up and then they're back on. You can hear the click of the contactor. I'll take the camera around the side. We've got the side off because, well, you know, you wouldn't buy a car without opening the hood, so I don't expect you to buy anything on the internet with covers on it. You need to make sure that everything looks good and everything works. You might see a rotisserie out there or another piece of equipment that just has two pictures of it. It makes me wonder, why do they just have two pictures? Why don't they have a video of it working? Why don't they show pictures of the inside? Is it something they just hauled out on the patio and took the garden hose and sprayed it off? Now we take these apart, we clean them, we go through everything, make sure everything's working. We want you to be able to receive this from the truck, haul it in, set it down, have either an electrician hook it up or, you know, whoever needs to do the work or some, some items just have to be plugged in uh, and hook it up, turn it on, put your chickens on and cook. We don't want you to have to take it apart and clean it or replace bulbs or anything like that. We want you to be happy. Okay, I have it set to 250. We're at, well, you know, two, 252 and we're at 260. Clicked off. So it got up to temperature. And as I was saying, we're proud of this equipment. We want you to know that it works. We don't want any questions in your mind. We want you to buy this and go. I'm going to bed. I don't have to worry. I bought that at quick cut. It's going to work. And if it doesn't work, or if I need something for it, which is a great point. You, can, you might be able to buy one of these from some guy who used to own a restaurant. 
and he'll ship it to you. It'll have chunks of chicken down in the bottom. And you want different spits. You want something maybe where you can cook chicken wings. And you go, oh boy, where do I get parts for this? Well, you can call us. You can email us. Um, you can send us a letter. And if we figured it out, you could even send us smoke signals. We might be able to read those. And uh, we'll send you the information. So you got us here to ask questions and to get answers. It's a big deal. Anybody can ask questions. Let me show you how easy this thing's cleaned. Wow, it's hot inside of there. Look at this. This is cool. Pop this open. Got two separate doors. The door actually does slide off if you need to take it off to clean it. You can get to the inside here. Close it up. It's magnetically caught. So listen, that's that magnet catching. Uh, these come out so you can clean underneath them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold on to them because they're kind of warm. You take those out, throw them in the washer, clean them. There is a drawer underneath here that pulls out and all your drippings. Now, this is the way to know. This is what shows that we spend time cleaning this equipment. Pull the drawer out. Look at the drawer. It's clean. Look at the bottom of the drawer. is clean. A lot of people clean what you can see. We clean what you can see and what you can't see. The bottom down here, clean. I would eat lunch off of that. I really would. I would set my sandwich there and I would eat it. No problem. Put this back in. This back in. That's one. Right, let me grab the camera. I'm going to take you around the side here and show you all the goodies. That's the control board that works the timer and uh, the contactors and all the relays. This contactor for the elements. Switch down here. It's the motor that turns the rotisserie. It's the motor here and there's a gearbox here. It's a speed reducer gearbox. And let me turn some stuff on here so you can see parts move. Get it there, and we'll turn it to rotisserie. Well, obviously, you know the rotisserie works, but this is the motor. You can hear it coming along. Now, let me turn on the lights and see that they work, obviously. Now I'm going to go back to the elements and you'll be able to see that the contactor clicks in. It's going to take me a little bit to get the button set. There we go. That's the contactor down there and I'll listen for the click. Here it click. Clicking on and off. Turning the temperature up. Turning it down. Turning it up. Clicking. Those are the elements right there. This is the control panel that I was telling you about. It has uh, temperature here, time, and the buttons all for programming. How well you can see those. It's kind of bright with that light on. There it is. There's the rotisserie. There's everything. I can't think of anything else that could be hidden. I'm going to take some pictures of it. I'm going to bring it outside where it's nice and sunny. It's warm here today, so it's going to feel good. I'm going to bring it outside, take pictures. I'm going to be able to see the insides, the outside, see that there's not any dents on it, there's not any uh, holes in it. Um, you'll be happy, believe me. And give us a call, 636-583-8200. Email us at www, oh, I'm sorry, our website, www.quipcon, Q-U-I-P-C-O-N.com, or email us at sales at Quipcon, S-A-L-E-S -E at Quipcon, Q-U-I-P-C-O-N.com. So there's three ways to get a hold of us. Well, there's probably more than that. 
We're here um, 8 till 4.30 at uh, Central Time. So we'll get back to you if you email us and we're not here.